Nigerians have been advised to remain calm and support efforts of the federal government to address the present security concerns in the country. This is in view of recent rise in security breaches across the country, which according to the government is orchestrated to fuel religious crisis in the country. As part of its monthly interface with the media in Abuja, the Director General of the National Orientation Agency, Garba Abari, who described the developments as an assault against the citizens' collective civilization, reinstated faith in ongoing onslaught by the nation's armed forces to calm the situation. We acknowledge the tension in the country over security problems and hope that with all Nigerians we will find solutions to the problem. Government is also concerned about the situation. What we are experiencing now is not between Muslims and Christians. It is actually an assault against our collective civilization. The Pali, which also centered on other activities of the agency in the past one month, indicates massive mobilization and sensitization campaign on health-related epidemic like Lassa fever, hepatitis, among others across the country. We have noted that in some neighborhoods of Abuja, some of the local governments during the weekend and even yesterday, our outdoor bands, outdoor, outdoor cinema bands have been so busy spreading the gospel of prevention as the most potent way to stamp out lesser fever in Nigeria. According to the World Health Organization, about 27 million Nigerians are infected with the disease, with the hepatitis B disease. But sadly, less than 20% of these people know their status. The agency has gone into this partnership to leverage on our support across the country to reach more people with the required information on the meaning, the symptoms, and the treatment of the five types of hepatitis. The agency said, it has also scaled up its national sensitization on the benefits of Nigerians' ongoing border closure, saying the policy has benefited Nigerians, especially as it relates to the agricultural sector, as well as tamed the import of light weapons into the country. CNA News.